now you're in West Bank. Officially we just, in West Bank. Bank. So we're in Palestine now. I went to Israel recently, and while there, took a day trip to Ramallah and Palestine. As you might guess, atheists don't have it easy there. Apparently, as a Western visitor, though, the social cost for atheism is negligible. We're going there, we're going to tell people we're atheists, okay, because we're not, we're not Jewish, right? It's not that, uh, no, they, they don't care. They don't care? As long as you're not Jewish, you as can be atheist? Don't care. In the future, I'll likely release a video or two documenting the trip as a whole, but here we'll focus on individual interviews. My friends and I decided to take advantage of our relative safety and do what local atheists can't. Ask Palestinians what they think of atheists. Hi, are you free to talk to us? Busy. Okay. Excuse me, are you free to talk to us? No? That's okay. Excuse me, are you free to talk to us? No. Trying. Excuse me, are you free to talk to us? You just speak English? Okay. Yeah. That was that was English. Come here, are you speaking? No. Oh, we're gonna get lots of rejections, trust me. I've done this. You can just try to keep asking people. Uh I'll go back to the question. Are they or not? What do you think of atheist people? I don't know, so I can ask I don't know, maybe they are misguided or something. I don't know. What do you think of atheists? Atheist people? Whatever they want to believe. What do you think of atheists and atheist people? He's saying it's not regular, it's not common, but at the same time, it's, it's up to everyone how they were raised and how they were brought up. What do you think of atheists? <laughs> May Allah protect us. It's something you say when you see a disaster, something so sad, like, please God, like, you know, protect us from this evil. What do you think of atheists? I think people are living with no life and no afterlife or whatever. Do you think that's a bad thing? He's saying that if you don't have any rules to guide you or no God, yeah, that's a bad thing. What do you think about atheists? The atheists. Uh, Already I have uh, one atheist friend yeah. and the one who is uh, agnostic, okay, and there's like no problem. Like uh, even me, like I have some doubts, but I'm a Muslim, okay, so I have no problem with religion. Even with Jew, not uh, like uh, atheist, Jews, uh, Christian, Muslims, any, uh, no problem. What do you think of atheists? Um, um, I, I don't have a specific opi opinion on uh, atheists. Uh, I, I think I, I, I would judge a person by his, uh, his personality. Such uh, topics are between him and what he believes in. Uh, and uh, are, uh, are, should not be used uh, to uh, t take advantage uh, of against him or against any person. Uh, and atheism is... is uh, uh, a personal freedom uh, that we should we should not uh, judge a person by by uh, b just his atheism. You think they're uh, evil? No, misguided doesn't mean evil. You know, it's um, يعني ممكن إنهم يعني مش مخذين الطريق الصح أو محتاجين إنه حدا. محتاجين إنه حدا. Do you think that atheists are evil people? they don't believe in religion very well. Could an atheist be a good person? Uh, of course, he could. What if maybe say your your brother or sister or a close friend or even your mother father? Uh, said they don't believe in God, that they're an atheist. Sad, yeah, sad. It's gonna be hard for him to be hard. Yeah, yeah. To love them? Yeah, you still love them. Of course, them. they are my family, you know. It's better for them to follow Allah. Mm. Like me. Yeah. But you could still be, could you still be family? 
if they're an atheist, yeah, then always, you're yeah. always? always. If your family, like brother or sister, became atheist after they were Muslim, would you still be family with them? Love them? No, of course. But I'm from the Jewish community. I'm not from the Jewish community. Ah, why is it wrong? 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 Really? Yeah. But you just said, but you just said just a few minutes ago <laughs> that it's okay. But so how come if it's your family, that's not okay? <laughs> he just, he just a few minutes ago said it's okay. I'm sure the حكيت معادي وما فيها مشكلة. بس لما يصير حدا معادي تغيير يعني. طبعاً عيلتي أنا بقدر أمون عليه وبقدر أرشده هذا بس بس يعني كأن ده إنسان خاص مثلاً في الشارع أو صاحبي أو هذا بحكي مع كل متخير. He's like if someone from like the street or a friend of mine, I would like try to guide them to the right path. But if they're my family, it's different. We try to. Okay. If your brother, sister, or some part of your family or close friend uh, became an atheist, what would you think? Would you still love them? And if you couldn't advise them to the right religion and they stayed atheist, would you love them? Still love them. If a brother, sister, or family member became an atheist, would you still love them? So what would you do if, if a family member told you that they're atheists? So would, but they wouldn't love them? They wouldn't be family anymore? And she's like, no, I wouldn't love them anymore because they don't even lo love themselves. If your family member, like a brother or sister, became an atheist, would you still love them? Why not? Why not? Why not? Like my friend, he's like my brother, okay? And here, uh, his family, like, uh, no, he's an um, agnostic, not uh, an atheist, but they love him. And maybe this, like, uh, differ from uh, town to town or the culture from... Uh, City to city, okay. But for That's you, you would, you would yes. love them. Yes, why not? Why not? If your brother, sister, or family member became an atheist, I, you, you said you're Muslim. If someone became an atheist from Muslim, would you love them? I, uh, I have no problem with atheists. Atheists, no problem. I would love them. Uh, I, uh, I, I would judge them by their person personality, that rather by them their atheism or uh, any other such thing. But do you accept atheist people as friends? Maybe, but they don't want to them. Maybe, but she doesn't want them to affect her anyway. Could you be friends with an atheist? Who can help someone with the help? Do you want to help someone with the help? Well, this world doesn't work. It doesn't work. I mean, from Muslim to Messiah to Messiah. ما بتخلى الدنيا لانه انا ما بعرف اذا انه اللي قدامي ملحد او مش ملحد cuz like this christians and muslims and atheists everywhere and you could never tell what someone's true essence is so would you be friends with an atheist كنت صديق مع حدا ملحد كنا صديقين انا درست في الاتحاد السوفيتي he was friends he was brought up in the so he was he studied in the soviet union oh interesting interesting so you've been friends with atheists before? He's like, yes, until now he still has atheist friends. Would you be friends with someone who's an atheist? Uh, I have atheist friends. You have atheist friends? Yes. yes. Yeah, more than one? Uh, yes, more than one. And how do you how do you get along with them? Uh, easily. Uh, easily. <laughs> easily. As, as, uh, as any other uh, different person. Where do we get our morals? Um, uh, والمدرسة. Cool. Um, 
Upbringing and school. Upbringing and school. Do morals only come from God? أكيد من الدين بالدرجة الأولى من الدين. like mainly like from religion. Mainly from religion. Yeah. Something else that some from not not coming from religion. مش من الدين. يعني لو نرجع للاتحاد السوفيتي قبل كيف كانوا يتعاملوا بين بعض؟ هل بيعجب حدا؟ Because like if we want to go back to the Soviet Union and see how they treated each other, would you like that? Where do morals come from? Like upbringing. Islam, oh, Islam, but the Quran, the Quran, the Quran has talked about morals. To me, one of these conversations stood out strikingly amongst the others. I was so taken aback in the moment that I posted about it on my Facebook page right after it happened. Today, I was in the streets of Palestine in Ramallah, and. Uh, a 15-year-old boy came up to me. He was Muslim, and he said, like, you have a YouTube channel. And I said, yeah. He said, oh, genetically modified skeptic? And I was just, <laughs> I was completely over the moon about it. And he's seen my, my videos, and he says that he follows me, and he really loves them, and that he wants to show people that, uh, that everyone needs to be open-minded to accepting and loving atheists and people of all, all different religions and that people shouldn't be discriminating for those reasons. And it was a really emotional moment for me. He and his friend were my last interview of the day, so we spent extra time on it, reflecting on all that we had heard that day. I found both of these guys pretty remarkable. A lot of my cousins are atheists. A lot of your cousins are atheists. And you, you love your cousins? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, what do you say to the people who just can't understand what you're saying and, and wouldn't ever be friends with an atheist. Um, uh, you should you should fix your mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, it's a bit aggressive point of view. Uh, just uh, talk to them more. Talk to them more. Yeah. I have a question for Drew. Yeah. These are the youngest people you talk to. Do you think this is a generational change? Like this is like do you think this may be the future of here because? They, these two are the most accepting of all the people you asked the same question of. Do you think this has something to do with the fact that they're also younger? It's, uh, it's also an economic thing. So, okay, so we'll, we'll touch on that. So, to answer that question, I think probably yes. You guys, you get on YouTube, you watch YouTube videos. Yes, of course. You're on Facebook? Yes. yes. Uh, what about Twitter, Instagram? Yes. You're on yes, those? Yes. Yeah, do you get on Reddit? Uh, Reddit at all? No. Uh, if, you, if you're wondering about something, uh, do you first talk to a person about it or do you Google it? I search about it, of course. Yeah, on, on, online, right? Yes, yes. And you read? Yes. You read you your articles, yes. Wikipedia? Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. It's a good okay. source. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do people that are much, much older than you do that as much? Uh, no. No, there, there's a big problem is that there isn't that big of a belief in not science per se, but I think more that it would be it's considering all sources to be equal in strength. I heard something on the radio, therefore, it's true. Uh, and, and like I or the the, the sheikh on the TV, and he and said something, so it's true. And I think it, because with the money that gets involved, I don't think it, there's a lot of dishonesty there. Oh my god, this is this is crazy. So you're the youngest person I've talked to today. And you're talking to me about how people will listen to things that their, their first search or their first person they talk to or the radio or media and they just believe it. And you're the youngest person that I've talked to and you're saying, no, okay, yeah, you need to look it up, you need to read about it, but you can't believe everything that you first hear. You need it you're talking about how to determine a good source. Yeah. You you study and understand how to find out what a good reliable source is. This is blowing my mind right now. It's just all three of you hope for the future. Like, do you think that this, there's hope for more, more understanding and tolerance and better sources of knowledge for the future here? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think uh, uh, when Palestinians are more expo exposed to the internet and the media, uh, they, they would learn more information uh, about more uh, uh, other topics uh, that. Uh, they are interested about and in this case atheism they would learn uh, more uh, about about uh, this topic and uh, how it is uh, it's the freedom of uh, a person to do to both of these guys thank you for your understanding 
Our trip to Palestine was definitely a learning experience, and I hope this video has been one for my viewers as well. Again, I hope to release another video or two about our trip to Palestine, and if I have the funds, those will be professionally edited, unlike this one. Thank you to Armin Navabi of Atheist Republic and Jeremy from Aurora Creative Media for co-hosting and filming, respectively. As always, subscribe, check out my Patreon, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at GM Skeptic, and until next time, stay skeptical. Thank you.